Well, hey folks, it's Mac. It is the 5th of July, so we're done with the holiday, and now here in Tennessee, at least, all the kids are starting to gear up for back to school. They usually go back early August, so for us, summer's on the other end, going the other way now. This week, we had one of our burning questions, and it was about the most interesting stranger you ever met, and so I think my answer was the lady I met on a flight about, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, and she's an artist that makes art out of dryer lint. So it gets all the different colors and, you know, I just throw that stuff out. I don't think my kids know you're supposed to empty that thing. I think one day their thing's going to catch on fire. But you pull all the stuff out and then she made art out of it. But I did get four responses this week. So the first one is from V. I just give the first initials here. It says, the most interesting stranger is a woman who uh, saw me grabbing lunch at DFW and out of the blue asked if she could join me. Our conversation wasn't earth shattering, but the fact that she trusted enough to ask for what she wanted very directly makes her stand out years later. You know, that's kind of interesting. Maybe instead of looking for interesting people that are strangers, maybe we need to be the interesting one. All right, next one is from S. And uh, let's see, I gotta see what S had to say. All right, it says, when I was in high school, there was a man who was legally blind who used to substitute teach in our band and choral classes. He could not see, but he could play the piano and he had perfect pitch, meaning if he played a note on the piano, he could tell you exactly what it was. He could also tell you if you played two or three keys at the same time, which keys they were. This is an incredible gift. Needless to say, he had no trouble keeping the attention of his classes he was substituting for. These days, not sure kids would pay him much attention, unfortunately. I'd have to agree with you on that one. But what a talent. I guess if you are kind of missing one sense, maybe the other ones overcompensate, which I guess is a good balance. All right, next one is from S. I love this one. This is a great story. It says, the most interesting stranger I ever met, I have to say, was my husband when we met and had our first date. I almost canceled that date because of a home situation with one of my teens, but the other teen kept saying, just go. At least you'll get a really nice dinner. So I did go and mercifully and really cool, Gerhard did all the talking and it was fascinating. I could listen, learn about him and actually got cheered up without having to worry about saying the right thing. The rest, as they say, is history. And here we are 21 years later. So a great story. And the last one I got was from C. And, and I'm going to say this anyway, because I want this to ring for all of us. It says, this is a tough one, but honestly, I can't think of anyone. I need to get out more. And you know what? I think she's just like many of us. We just don't really look for strangers. Now, we see some strange people. I got to tell you, we were in Vegas over the weekend seeing my son and his partner, Crystal. And there's some weird people in Las Vegas. But honestly, I've kind of felt right at home. The thing is, though, there's interesting people everywhere. And even the people that don't seem interesting might have something really interesting to share. So lesson number one, go and look for strangers to talk to. And then the lesson number two is realize all of us have unique talents and abilities. And maybe one day someone's going to answer that question I gave out. And they're going to talk about the time they met you and how you were the most interesting person they ever met. So maybe like, remember that beer they used to have the most interesting man in the world? Maybe all of us need to work on being that person. So that's it for this week. There's another burning question. You can read about it below and I'll look forward to seeing your answers on it. Have a great day.